You can't know how it hurts when someone tries to blacken me in my dear brother's eyes. Oh. The mere thought of such ingratitude plunges my soul into so dark a mood. Such horror grips my heart. I gasp for breath and cannot speak and feel myself near death. Oh. <laughs> you blackguard! Why did I spare you? Why did I not break you in little pieces on the spot? <laughs> And don't be hurt, dear friend. These scenes, these dreadful quarrels have got to end. I've much upset your household, and I perceive that the best thing will be for me to leave. What are you saying? They're all against me here. They have you think me false and insincere. Oh, what is that? Have I ceased believing in you? Oh, their adverse talk will certainly continue. And charges which you now repudiate, you may find credible at a later date. No, brother, never. Brother, a wife can sway her husband's mind in many a subtle way. No, no. To leave at once is the solution. Thus only can I end their persecution. No, no, I'll not oh, allow it. You shall remain. Ah, oh, well, it will mean much martyrdom and pain. <laughs> but if you wish it. Oh. Enough. So be it. But one thing must be settled as I see it. For your dear honor and for our friendship's sake, there's one precaution I feel bound to take. I shall avoid your wife. Keep away. No, you shall not. <laughs> Whatever they may say, it pleases me to vex them. And for spite, I'd have them see you with her day and night. What's more, I'm going to drive them to despair by making you my only son and heir. 